everybody. Welcome back to another awesome day, another awesome vlog. So today we're going to be making a new card. It is this really cute little card using a doily cut in half and it says for someone very awesome. As you know, I love that word. I use the word awesome all the time. So this was the perfect stamp choice for the card that I was going to make. So today I am using, once again, K and Company paper. This is paper that came out a couple of years ago at Valentine's Day. It's really, really awesome paper. It has some cute paper that says, Happy Valentine's Day. It has awesome striped paper. Um, as I've said before, one of the reasons I love K and Company paper is it's two-sided. So if for some reason this side of the page won't work for you and the card you're making, there's a second option. So it's almost like getting twice as much paper because you have so many choices in the colors and designs that are available. So I have all of my paper pre-cut. Don't worry, I will put all of the dimensions of the papers that I'm using in the description below. So I'm going to take my white card base and I'm going to fold it in half. I'm going to use my scissors for the crease. And these pieces are going to go on after I put them together. So the first thing I'm going to do is attach. This is just a round doily that I've cut in half. I'm going to use my Elmer's glue stick and glue just the solid area right here onto the card. The reason I did that is I kind of like the look of these little scalloped edges not being flat to the card. I kind of like them being loose and sticking up. Obviously, if you want to tack them down, feel free to do it that way. But I'm just going to adhere the center and then you can see how these pieces are free and loose and I like the look of that, so I'm going to leave it like that. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my piece of heart paper. It's just a strip that's going to go down the left side of this piece of paper here. And I'm going to glue this on. All right, so I'm going to hold that down just for a moment. One of the reasons, and I've um, shown you this before, that I am not gluing this directly onto the card first thing is because I'm going to be using some Baker's Twine again today. This is the red and white striped Baker's Twine, and I'd like it to go around my card, but I don't want my twine to show on the inside of my card. That's why I do it this way. So even though I have this twine that's wrapping all the way around the card, you have a nice clean inside. You don't have holes and the string trying to go through the middle. So that's why I attach it to this piece, and then after my Baker's Twine is on it, I attach it to the card. So the next step is I'm going to take my Baker's Twine, and I am going to put it about halfway down the card, and I'm going to tie a knot off to the right-hand side. And then I'll just trim the extra of my Baker's Twine so that it's not too long and hanging off my card. All right, so I'm just gonna leave some little ends on here and I'm gonna trim the excess off. So the stamp set that I'm using, it's a Recollections stamp set. I bought this stamp set at Michael's. It was $3.99, I used my 50% off, so it ended up being $1.99 plus tax. It was a really great deal because I ended up getting 10 stamps in this set and they're all really, really cute. There's a really cute little bicycle, some glasses, an arrow, a mustache, a camera, and then there's a saying that says, a little note just for you, a saying that says, oh, hello, friend, a saying that says, for someone very special, and then there's a cute heart and a little um, finger pointing one direction, so you can use that on a card if you wanna to point to a saying or something, but this set was really, really cute. I really liked it. So I picked it up on with using my coupon at Michael's and now I'm using the stamp that says for someone very awesome on my clear block and I'm going to use cranberry ink from close to my heart and I'm using 
This paper, I've used it in the past. It looks like a ledger or like a school notebook paper. And I'm just going to line this up after I, I'm going to ink this up really good. And I'm just going to line this up on the lines, just like that. So today I'm going to use deco scissors. I got these as Michael, at Michael's as well. They were in the dollar bin and they are going to cut a squiggly line for me. So I'm going to cut down the side across the bottom and up the other side. I am going to leave the top straight across because I want it to look like a little tag hanging or a sign hanging down. So as you can see, it is scallops on the side and on the bottom and straight across the top. So what I'm going to use to attach this is a little teeny tiny wooden clip. It's a clothespin, but it's a little teeny tiny one. I'm going to clip it onto my baker's twine and then I'm going to attach my tag to it. But I also want to use some foam mounting tape behind it so that I'm sure it will stay on my card. So I have found this really cool foam mounting tape. It's the same brand that I usually use, but this one, the squares are already cut for you. So you can just take them off and they are ready to go. So I just bought this one. So let's get it open and see how it works. All right, so I'm gonna take one off really, really easy. Stick it on the back, remove that so that the sticky is available. I'm just going to clip this onto my clothespin and stick it down just like that. The next thing I'm gonna do is attach my two buttons. These are little teeny tiny buttons. So like usual, I'm going to use my glue dots. However, I'm going to use one glue dot to put down two teeny tiny buttons. And the way I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna cut my glue dot in half so that it's not quite so big. So as long as you still have the plastic and the backing on it, it's really easy to cut it in half in order to make it smaller because if you have too big of a glue dot, then it's obviously not going to lay flat on your page. So I'm gonna put one button down here. I'm gonna use the other half of my glue dot that I cut. And I'm going to glue that right next to it. Just like that. So now I'm ready to adhere this to my card base. So I'm going to use my new foam dots that were pre-cut for me and I'm going to put one on each corner and I'm going to remove the backing and I'm going to attach it to my card base. And it's finished. So obviously you can use a stamp that says something different um, than what I used on mine. Whatever type of message you would like to put on your card would work for this. Um, I really like these pre-cut foam dots. I've never found them pre-cut like this before, but it's a really large roll. It was really easy. I just pulled them off easily. I didn't have to cut anything and um, put them right on. So I highly recommend these if you're able to find these. I found these at the 99 cent store where I usually get my foam roll, but usually the one that I get is just a solid roll like this and I can cut it whatever size I want. That's nice also if I'm using some, uh, working on a project where I need a very, very small or a larger size of the foam, I can cut it to whatever size I want. The other thing I just found there are foam mounting squares. So I'm gonna find a project that these will be really, really awesome for and show you how I use them. So thanks so much for watching. If you liked my video, smash the thumbs up button. Don't forget in the description below, I will put all of the dimensions of the pieces that I used to make this card today. Keep watching my videos. Soon I'm gonna start doing some giveaways with the cards I've made, 
products that I use, things like that. So keep watching my videos so that you can get information about any giveaways I give with craft items in the future. If you didn't watch my last video, click over here to watch it. If you're new to the channel, click over here to subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you're having an awesome day. Bye! I'm a crafty dog.